So we're using uh, millions of tweets to understand the degree of climate change skepticism or belief across the entire US. And we've been able to, through a series of algorithms, basically uh, classify these tweets as either believing in climate change or against climate change, or able to map out climate change skepticism and belief across the United, entire United States. We use a lot of spatial big data to identify at a very specific scale, even a census tract scale or census block scale, which communities we should prioritize as, as we think about adaptation, as we think about mitigation of climate change. And we're also using a variety of other data sets to understand uh, vulnerability to heat. And the idea here is that we're gonna, we're gonna layer heat vulnerability, flooding vulnerability, and climate change skepticism on top of each other to identify hot spots where particular communities are especially vulnerable to these triple, triple stressors, if you will. As a geographer, uh, it enables us to really understand at a very nuanced geographic scale uh, impacts and potential impacts of climate change, of other sorts of environmental pressures on communities and on the planet.